say something. <laughs> he said, say hi. No, oh, thank you. So, we were gonna make a video on getting Zeb used to the bike trailer with this one, but we've just driven for two hours <laughs> to go and get a new burly one. Well, second hand, but it looks quite new. Good deal on Facebook Marketplace for less than half of the retail price. It's around £100. We've got a second hand Burley B kids trailer and we're going to see how easy it is to adapt into a pet trailer. Following on from our original tradition of not just buying a pet trailer, the Burley Coho literally says, cargo only, do not carry humans or animals. So it's not a pet trailer. This also isn't a pet trailer. It's a kids trailer. Um, so we're going to have a little build video. It's pretty easy. Should we start a clock in the corner of the screen here? So, go! <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Um, the wheels just push in. Push the centre piece and slide in. That's it. Same on the other side. Um, my initial response to seeing just a little ball bearing pin push of the wheel hold on is surprise, but fair enough. Um, that is also just a push out pin that's technically holding that at the moment, but then you've got the locking pin. Ooh, what is this, Abby? Okay, looks like a fair size. Yeah. Feels pretty sturdy. And that is pretty much it. It's got this hood. The locking the little biters in. And yeah, it's got just the mesh. There's plenty of bolted on places to uh, attach the fly. We should keep that in case we could get uh, the oh, boys in, uh, in there, yeah. Okay, so I think we've got to get some tools out and see how easy it is to hard drawing. So also, now is probably about the time to start getting Zeb used to it. Is it soft on the bottom, like really soft? Can he stand in there if he wanted? It's just fabric. Yeah. So, yeah. He could theoretically go through that if his claw went a bit too aggressively. Can we have a look? What is it? thing I am most interested to see is if it um, makes that side to side wobble feel less intense. How easy is it to put on the bike? Should be pretty easy. Put it on the bike. It's got this little bracket. So you just need to put that bracket on there. What is it, mate? What is it? Is it for you? Is it for you? Whoa. Yeah, so we just put that in there. Yeah, okay. Pull up a tire. Rubber thing. Bike swinging wildly by me. Yeah, it doesn't hold the bike up like your other one does. Oh my god, we got two bike trailers. <laughs> Go get him, Zeb. Get him. Get him. Yeah, 
I'd say it just feels very light and everything with nothing in it. I can't really feel it, but then I'm very used to the other trailer as well, so. I can't really see it. Yeah, the two wheels definitely adds that stability of the, the train. Need to put your bike down. Yeah, you definitely need a stand now. But if you haven't got massively heavy racks, then a normal stand will actually work. Whereas before, your panniers were just so heavy. Perfect. <laughs> you get that joke, Zeb, do you? Do you get it? Do you get it? Whoa. So look how sturdy that looks already. This is just a four mil piece of plywood. It's marine ply, just corners cut off and shoved on top of the trailer. Um, so we're gonna give that a quick strength test to see how much effort we're gonna put into attaching it. The two options would be, if it's, if it's not very sturdy, <laughs> we'll use um, the bolts that hold on the wheels and some of the brackets and we'll literally bolt through and make it part of the frame. If it's actually really sturdy straight away, then we could just put some cable ties through. So do a series of holes and cable tie through. Can I sit in it? Yeah. Anyway, you're going to give it a go. So say, like, what's I mummy doing? <laughs> oh God. He's doing Oh. Well, that was an easy way to introduce him. Make mummy go in and he's desperate. Bro. <laughs> I hate it. Hi, is oh, this nice? It's like mummy never got in my other trailer. You knew this was coming, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Well, I think that confirms that the plywood doesn't need too much <laughs> dying down. <laughs> you getting in by yourself? Yeah. So we just left the trailer for two seconds. <laughs> hey, babe. Yeah. Wow, it looks huge. It does, it? I know. He's got so much room. Oh, He's going to love that. Things we do for you, eh? It's like bigger than some of the tents that people take. <laughs> it's bigger than Paul's tent. <laughs> yeah. Oh, literally. Oh, go on then. I'm gonna have to. I know. I was gonna say you need to get in. Daddy, 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 room. Daddy, daddy, room. I know. I know. I know. Big mm, love. Big love. I think that might be more than 45 kilos. <laughs> get out of there. I think cable ties will be more than strong enough to do what we want to do. That feels great. If that can take my weight and not buckle, I think that can take Zeb's weight bouncing. Yeah. Just drill a few holes, put some cable ties in. I did have a little boy. Ten's coming. Go on in. Eager. He's eager. We don't like them. Sit. Wait, 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 wait. You're good. You're good. It's more floppier than the other one, guys. What's going on? Good boy. Oh, you're such a brave boy. Is this nice? <laughs> Need some... Uh, oh, yeah, we're going to have to put something down so he's not slipping around. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. But I mean, even for the test. Yeah. Yeah, Zeb, it's now attached to a freaking bike. You can go in if you want. Go on then. Up, up. Very interested again. Zeb, up, up. Go on. Good boy. 
You like that? He wasn't this interested in the other trailer, and he was. Yeah. He was interested in the other trailer, but this is like. Obviously, he knows what trailers are now. Yeah, I okay. think this is him choosing this one over the yeah. other one. So what we were talking about was potentially having this come down here. Yeah. You're a good boy. Got air throw. 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 No, you sit. Step, sit. Sit. Good boy. And when the floor's not slidey, he'll be much happier in there. You're a good boy. <laughs> Woo. You wait. Don't you wait. get your face out. Okay, that is strange, isn't it? Of just not having to balance the whole bloody 26 kilos. You good boy, you wait. Yeah, you go really far at the back. <laughs> um, but yeah, when he's, I think we'll make a little carpet on there. Yeah. He's got really good grip. Have we go. Oh, that's how crazy he come from. How, where did you turn by the car? Go on, babe, do a turn. Go back around there. Oh my God, a circle. <laughs> now recreate that on the other one. Oh. You have to do it on the other one now. Let this poor sod out. He's like, I don't want to be here for your fun and games. Alright, buddy. So, yeah. It's your builder's bum away. How do I do the brake? Just turn it. Like that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah just there, mate. So we've just oiled the wood, put the bolts back in for the um, for this seat backrest, and it also makes a really good back compartment that Zeb can't just immediately jump out the back, and you can store things in here. So I think this trailer is going to be quite a little workhorse. Potentially, potentially, and it does say you can have 45 kilos of dog and cargo. Did you store that in the back? Uh, <laughs> spare bag pocket. Um, yeah, so we put the we put the seat rests back in so that nephews can use it, and there's, there's a back compartment, and Seb can lean on it, and it's a bit more comfortable, and it keeps him in front of the axle just in front of the axle or on the axle um, so that he hasn't got that possibility of lifting the back wheel in the air and we've just cable died down a couple of car mats should we go and find his harness yeah i don't always cycle in wellies no but i do spend a lot of time in wellies <laughs> <laughs> that's at a length that you can lie down and then <laughs> you can hug strangers and can you hit the back wheel? Yes, kind of. So you stop suddenly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so unfortunately that would have to be shorter if it was up there.
I want to feel what it's like to push. That's a hill. It's not too out of balance. No, and you can lean the bike without the whole trailer leaning. <laughs> you gotta keep turning now. You look like you're off to do a Deliveroo. <laughs> you got my pizza in there. It's nice. I definitely had to time in moments like that. <laughs> <laughs> Slamming on brake moments. You right, mate? It's on your head. How does it feel on the uphill? Um, oh, should we lay you out? Okay, okay, you've been a good boy. Go on then, how'd you get? It's always hard uphill carrying that much weight. Hey, well done. You're a good boy. Mm. Careful on my pedal, boy. I know, I know. Okay, okay. So, if your dog really doesn't want to get in the trailer and you want to make it something that's really fun, something that you might be a bit jealous of, that he really, really wants to get in, then stick his. <laughs> stick his mum in the trailer. Carl's <laughs> getting alright. So jealous, Simon in his trailer. <laughs> this is nice. It's a bit scary. Oh! <laughs> Go on, push! <laughs> this is nice. <laughs> if I'm ever injured or like seizures on the top of a hill, Jack could get me back to safety. <laughs> Doesn't feel too bad. I know we're only on the flat. But it's relatively bumpy, and oh, duck, remember to duck for the net. <laughs> duck for the net. 